Hey everyone, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be a more summer inspired uh, video, just like everyone else has been saying. I'm ridiculously over this winter weather. It's disgusting. It's to the point of ridiculousness and I just wanted to be inspired by something summer and kind of just get into the spring and summer mood. So this look is actually really, really easy. I feel like anyone can do it. It's really, really easy and simple and it doesn't um, require a lot of technique or anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know what you think. And if you did like the video, please give it a nice thumbs up, not thumbs down, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! So of course it would not be one of my videos if I didn't completely forget to film something, and I did not get the beginning of this video on camera. I did pry my eyes with NYX Jumbo Pencil and my MAX Painterly Pink Pot, and then added a white eyeshadow all over the lid. And now I'm taking my blending brush and using a really purpley, pinky mauve color from my Shiny Cosmetics palette. Obviously I did not get a close up of all my products because I'm just the worst, so everything will be listed down below as it is always anyway. So I'm just adding that pink color into the crease and dragging it in towards my temples as well. And I'm trying to not to get this on the lid so I'm going to go back in with my white eyeshadow and just pack that onto the lid as I'm doing right here and just making sure that the whole lid is just completely white. And then I'm going in and blending those two colors with the fluffier blending brush and blending it towards the temples as well again. Now I'm going in with the same blending brush that I was using earlier, and I'm using uh, Coco Bear from White uh, from White Lies. Oh, Coco Bear from Makeup Geek eyeshadows as well, and just concentrating it just on this outer corner. Again, I don't want to drag it in too much on top of the lid because I want the lid to stay completely white. So I'm just constantly blending that in towards the outer corner, going back in with a bigger blending brush and blending that all together as well. And then um, I'm actually going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil that we used in the beginning that I did not get on camera and put this right on top of that white shadow just because I want to enhance it even more, make it nice and bright and warming it up with my fingers and blending it in that way. And then on my finger I'm going to go in with the white eyeshadow and pack that on the lid again. And as usual, I'm using the Maybelline Gel Studio, whatever the hell it's called, eyeliner. And obviously, I just can't get this on camera because I am the worst and I suck at life. So I'm just lining that and making it a little thick and then going in with my eyelash curler, curling my eyelashes and prepping them for falsies. Here I'm tight lining the top waterline with a Rimmel Coal Liner and then I'm going in with um, a mascara and just coating my top lashes to prep them. And for the lashes I'm using the Ardell Laces they're called. They're really pretty dramatic um, but wispy at the same time so I'm just going to be adding those and I use the Duo Lash Glue in the dark tone. I swear I just could not win today. Obviously, as you can see, this is not in the camera frame. So I'm putting on my bottom lash line the uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil because we're going to use a yellow um, eyeshadow from the BH Cosmetics Hollywood palette. And I know it looks green for some reason, but it actually worked out because that's what I was looking for for this um, look anyway. So I was just packing that on to my lower lash line, and now I'm adding some mascara. Now to start off my face, I'm using MAC Strobe Cream, just to moisturize and give it some luminosity before I go in with my foundation. I'm taking my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, and I'm using this to cover up any blemishes that I have, like this ugly nasty one on my, my uh, chin. So I'm going to be dabbing that in with my finger, and for foundation I'm using Neutrogena Healthy Glow. I'm putting this obviously all over my face and buffing, buffing it into my skin with my Sigma brush. Now I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear in NC20, I believe, for my concealer and just patting that in with my finger. Now 
Now for a highlight, I'm using what everyone and their mothers use. This is the Max Prep and Prime in the color Light Boost. And I'm just putting this in all the areas that I want to highlight and accentuate on my face and then blending it out with my foundation brush that we just used. Now to set everything on my face, I'm using NARS powder in the color Mountain and just a small kabuki brush and buffing that onto my face just to set all of the foundation and concealer and everything like that. This is a Sephora bronzer in the shade Bora Bora and just any random brush that I have. This is no brands. I've had this for years. So you could take any bronzer brush that you like and I'm not really contouring. I'm just bronzering, bronzering. I'm just bronzing my face with this brush and the bronzer. And for blush, I'm actually not using one. I'm taking my blush brush that I've been using so it's a little dirty and has some excess on it and I just dabbed it into my bronzer and I'm just using that as my blush. Now I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter just to highlight the soft points on my face like my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit above my lip. I didn't really know what to uh, do for my lips so I just went with a nude. This is MAC Subculture Lip Liner and I'm going to be lining my lips obviously. Now I'm actually using a lip crayon pencil kind of thing from e.l.f. It's in the color Natural. It's a really nice mauve tone which I liked because the color on my eyes I was using a mauve tone as well. So I'm going to be placing that all over my lips as I would a lipstick. And for my lip gloss I think it's by Rimmel. No not Rimmel. Revlon. It's called Peach Petal and I'm using that as a gloss all over my lips. And this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. It was really fun for me. I love the colors together. Please let me know what you thought. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.